welcome to everything we do for saturday the 9th of october 2021 the remaining disciples foreign disciples and prophets i can authoritatively tell you that with the help of immigration and all of that they have been sent home to their various countries so it's only those two that mommy chose to keep behind that are there i'm not mentioning their names but because i will not mention their names no matter what was happening i had hope and when i was making those series of videos i was making it so that synagogue church members will know the true picture of things i don't have their contacts i have contacts of some but i don't have contacts of all because they are in their millions and the only way i can get across to them was to put the truth out there when something is being said that is wrong, I have told you people that are subscribers to this channel, my family members have told you over time that nobody gave me a job to come out and defend Prophet T.B. Joshua. But I know that when God talks about righteousness, it's because that he wants us to do things that are right. And I cannot sit under the anointing that has so transformed my life. And then hear people say negative things about it and not say anything. It's the same conviction that has made me stood and is still standing by Prophet T.B. Joshua. It's the same conviction that I had that made me stood by Prophet T.B. Joshua. And is still standing by him. And I hope to stand by his family going forward. And forevermore. When I mean his family, I mean the biological family as well as the spiritual family. Now, it might seem as if I am attacking mommy or I am against mommy. No, I am standing on the truth and I'm standing on the conviction that made me to stand with Prophet T.B. Joshua all these years. Speaking for him, either in my magazine that comes out monthly or on YouTube or on Facebook. I dare you to go to all my social media handles and see that from time immemorable since I know Prophet T.B. Joshua, I have always stood by him. And I have always stood by him because I know that he was standing by the truth. Not because he was good to me. I cannot lie. He was extremely good to me. And that's why when he died, I described him as my prophet, my philanthropist, my father and everything. And if you watch my previous video, I have always made reference to him. Whether I am talking about something that has nothing to do with Prophet T.B. Joshua, I always make reference to him because I was able to learn at his feet, though at a distance, but I learned. That conviction is the reason why I'm talking like this. Either you think that I'm against mommy, at the end, mommy will know that I was not against her. And I will never be against her. I will never be against Sarah. I will never be against promise. And I will never be against heart. Neither will I be against the spiritual children of Prophet T.B. Joshua, which I am one. But my conviction has always said that. I had had hope that at the end of the day, they will be reconciled. But now, on the 9th of October, 2021, the prophet and the remaining evangelist, disciples, all oh, the foreign ones were sent home. So as I speak to you, Prophet Vresin is no more in Synagogue Church of All Nations. He has been deported back to his country. Prophetess Angela is no more in Synagogue Church of All Nations. Prophet Chris has gone back to UK. And this means that there is no going back. Somebody told me that um, mommy has received impartation. So let's keep our fingers crossed. But I can authoritatively tell you that the remaining prophets and foreign disciples are now back to their various countries. Even if their flight is two days, they should have been comfortably home now. I got the information that day when they were being taken. But, you know, I was not just in the mood to inform you guys, but I want you to know that they have gone. They have gone. Another new chapter is set for Synagogue Church of All Nations. We can only sit and watch and pray. But, you know, nothing happens without god's knowledge and nothing takes god by surprise see this thing is family issue so i don't want to go into details but if you are smart enough and you have been watching my videos then you know where all the problems start from but i want to make a serious observation you know that if you have case to answer in any country of the world you are not allowed to leave the country until you answer that case to the latter right 
Prophet Racine and Prophetess Angela were accused of trying to sell daddy's plane. If you know the procedure of selling planes, private jets, then you will know that it's not possible. The title ownership, the person that has the title ownership has to be the one that will sign the papers to sell. And if the person is not there, then that means that the power of attorney has to be given to the next person that is going to sell the plane. So what did Prophet T.B. Joshua give them power of attorney? How would they have manipulated that? There are processes. You cannot just sell people's thing. And when it comes to airplane and private jets, it's even more. And I heard another thing is that uh, they could not find the plane. Uh, the plane where it's parked is you know, at the airport. 30 minutes from the cotton, you can go there and check whether the plane is there or not. But my emphasis is that this has gone to say that the prophet did not steal anything. That EFCC and all this police case was just for a particular thing. Hence, they can leave the country. If not, they cannot leave the country. Though they didn't want to leave, but they were mm -hmm, to leave. They had to leave. <laughs> if you understand, it's not everything that I'm going to say here. They had to leave. They were literally asked to leave. The immigration and everything helped and they left. Even though they insisted that they would stay here and clear their names. But I want you to have this thing as I close this video. If you have case to answer anywhere in the world, you have to answer that case. If not, you cannot leave the country. You cannot leave the country. But I'm here to tell you that they have left and they are gone. So use your tongue to count your teeth. And like I always said, pray for mommy. I have always loved her and I will continue to love her. But my conviction is that the truth has to be said. If they had not tagged the prophet thieves, maybe I wouldn't be making this video. But because you tagged the junior prophet thieves, I cannot live with that. Because I have received some sort of blessing through these people's hands. And I cannot sit and listen, just like I could not sit and listen, that they were turning Prophet T.B. Joshua's name to be something else. So they have left. How did the EFCC allow them to leave the country? The police that accompanied them to the airport and ensured that they left, and the immigration. Didn't they know that they have EFCC case? And if truly there are evidence to knock them down, how would you just allow them to go eventually like that? So use your tongue to count your teeth. Having said that, this is where I go. Pray for Mommy Evelyn. Pray for her. Pray for her. Pray for her. Pray for the prophets. And we are waiting for Mommy Evelyn to open the church and pray. Any vampire, anybody that is surrounding her. Because we are praying for her because we want to protect Prophet T.B. Joshua's legacy. So anybody that is around her that is not good, let's pray. For God to open her eyes to see them so that they can be dispersed. I pray. So pray, pray. Raise your prayer points right and pray for them. As you pray for your family, pray for synagogue. Prophet T.B. Joshua has prayed for all of you all his life. So this is the time to give back. Having said that, this is where I go. I'll see you again when I see you. Bye-bye.